G'day YouTube. In this video, I'll show you guys how to install the KDE Plasma desktop environment in Linux Mint 19.1. And the reason why you might need to do this these days a bit more manually is because there is no longer any KDE flavor of Linux Mint 19 and onwards. So it's, uh, it's not a fantastic thing that they've done there, but we can still get it. And what you do need to do in order to get that going is open up a terminal to follow and uh, do the, the following uh, commands here. And what I'll just mention as well is before you do this, when you're ever dealing with a, a desktop environment, it's probably best uh, best disclaimer to say always to back up your stuff first because it can get a little bit messy, especially with KDE. So uh, what we need to do is simply three commands to get KDE going. Now the first one of which is uh, adding the, the repo there. So we'll pop that in there. So it's a sudo add apps repository ppa kubuku dash ppa backports. Don't let the backports, uh, the name or the word fool you there. That just means uh, the latest uh, software on a potentially older operating system, things of that nature. So we're going to get the repositories there. And then we hit enter, throw in our password. We follow the prompts. We wait for it to uh, add that repository. Once that repository is added, as you might guess, we need to update those repositories so that we can then install uh, from them. So we'll hit enter there before we uh, finish off stage one. Great, key server, everyone's winning. And as I'm waiting for it, I may as well copy and paste this one. Always takes just a hot second. Now, one thing I will mention to you is that this has already been installed on mine, so I'm just showing you these uh, steps just for the hell of it here. But uh, then we do sudo apt update, update those repositories, and once we are complete, we go to step three. So sudo apt install KDE Plasma desktop environment. Now, even though you can see these three options here, don't skip away from the video yet. There is two extra things to do after this whole process here. So we go ahead and we wait for that one to install and let's just say yours will actually probably take a bit longer than mine but then, because mine's obviously all finished, then we do uh, step three, KDE Plasma Desktop, that's the, uh, the command to install it. Great, now, so once that's done, we need to log out then log back in firstly. So uh, let's go to the log out, log out and yeah, log out anyway, good, good, good. Hit the quote unquote gear icon in the login screen when that one decides to load up there for us. I might just uh, close without saving, get rid of all this. And let's try that again. This machine is being surprisingly unresponsive there. There we go. Okay, great. Bit of a uh, bit of blank air time there. And uh, then what we do uh, is uh, we go to the the main screen, click on that gear icon as I call it there. Not always a gear icon, especially in Linux Mint. But um, we go to the plasma. So we'll hit up plasma, throw in your password, same password obviously as you normally would, and then we go and start to load into the plasma environment, which. Uh, probably will take an extra moment and it's probably a good time to say as it is still continuing to load here is it is a much more heavyweight desktop environment in fact probably uh, in my understanding or in my experience probably the most uh, the resource intensive desktop environment in Linux that you could possibly find at the moment at least on a, um, a non-commercial basis perhaps but um, once we do get that to load in, we can see KDE load in, we get it up and running. What you might want to do is go ahead and change the icon packages. So we can change it to Mint. So you've got a bit of a, a Mint custom designed version of, uh, of the KDE Plasma desktop environment. And wow, this is really slow. So I might actually finish this window here. It has worked before. I've done it uh, logged in and logged out a couple of times. But uh, something's clearly going on with my Linux machine. It, uh, it goes back to my disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Do uh, back up your stuff before you do this. Uh, KDE has been the most detrimental desktop environment installation to any machine I've had to install it for in the past. It can stop things from working. It can make things break. If it works on your machine, great. You've got it. It's working. Everyone's happy. If not, at least you've done the backup beforehand. So that's uh, pretty much a super quick video, I'd like to say, for uh, installing uh, the KDE desktop environment 
in uh, Linux Mint 19.1 as there is no official flavor or distribution uh, for that one. So cheers guys, hope you've enjoyed. Please love, leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for your time.